This is one of multiple Genius 3 Lab videos. This is a troubleshooting video. The Genius 3 topology and troubleshooting setup is available below this video. Try and complete this yourself or follow me as I troubleshoot the network. In this lab, we told that we need to troubleshoot issues as much as possible without using the show run or show start commands. In other words, don't cheat. Don't just do a show run and look for problems. Try and use debugs and show commands and other options to find specific issues in the network. Only use a full show run or show start as a last resort. We told that we need to get a working solution where all devices can ping each other, including their loopback interfaces in this topology. The IP addresses have been configured in this topology, but because this is a troubleshooting lab, don't trust that configuration. So router one has booted up, show IP interface brief, shows me various IP addresses in the topology, but notice the interfaces are down on the three interfaces of router one. So all interfaces are down. This interface should be configured using PPP, this interface using PPP PAP, and this interface using PPP CHAP. So let's start with serial two slash zero. Here's router one. So show interface serial two slash zero. Interface is up and down. Encapsulation is PPP. LCP request has been sent. The LCPs and NCPs haven't been negotiated on that interface. Here's router two. Show interface serial two slash zero. Interface is up and down. Notice PPP is enabled on the interface. So PPP is running on both router one, as seen over there, as well as router two. But the interface is down. We've got a LCP term sent message. So let's do a debug PPP authentication first to see if there are any authentication problems. We shouldn't be running authentication on this interface. Now we are being told that authorization is required. There's a challenge from router two, but nothing else is happening. Now what I'll do for the moment is shut down serial two slash one and two slash two on router one so that we don't get PPP negotiation messages on those two interfaces. I only want to see what's happening on this interface. So let's do a debug PPP authentication on this side. Notice we told authorization required. And I'll turn off that debug at this point. No authorization without authentication. There's a challenge from router two, unable to authenticate to the peer. Authorization is required. Challenge from router one, challenge from router four. So we're still seeing some stuff from the other routers. But the point is here, we've got an issue with router two sending authentication information. So show run interface two slash zero. PPP is enabled on this interface. IP address is correctly configured. No authentication is enabled. But on this side, show run interface serial two slash zero. Notice there is a authentication problem on serial two slash zero. So on this interface, we should say no PPP authentication and press enter. Interfaces come up, so that looks better. We'll just turn off all debugging on both sides. Show CDP neighbors. We've got a neighbor relationship to router one. The router has IP address 10.1.1.1 and we can ping that IP address. So things look a lot better. We've solved the problem between router two and router one. Now let's have a look at the link between router one and router three.